there a chance the Lions are back on Hard Knocks? It's out there. You are Locked On Lions, your daily Detroit Lions podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What is good, everybody? Matt Derry with you. It is June 15th, a Thursday here on Locked On Lions, Locked On Podcast Network on a Friday, June 16th. Thanks for making us your first listen, checking us out wherever you get your podcasts. It is indeed Matt Derry, Locked On Lions for a Thursday. Folks, uh, this is kind of a wild day. I read two stories today that I'm like, I cannot wait to talk about on today's Locked on Lions. First of all, thanks to Scotty and the folks at Questionable Tees for my 222 Rodwood Drive t-shirt. Always love wearing this baby. So uh, you want some great Lions gear, go to Questionable Tees, T-E-E-Z dot com. Um, coming up on the show today, two big stories. Uh, Pete Prisco's top 100 at CBSSports.com. And I'm a Prisco fan, but the Lions got shafted. Lions of a top 30 player? No. Top 40? and eh. Top 50? At top 60, no. It's crazy. We will explain and tell you about that coming up momentarily. Also, could Hard Knocks be back? Filming in Detroit. John Neal of the Detroit News, Tiger Woods lookalike, um, said that the Hard Knocks people and HBO approached the Lions. We'll talk about that coming up momentarily as well here on Locked On Lions. So thanks for making us your first listen, checking us out wherever you get your podcasts. Shout out to our everydayers out there. Many of them were chiming in today on Twitter, like the great Nathan Litke, Turner Batdorf, and others. Uh, Turner even threw a, let me give you some stats, uh, which I thought was funny um, today. Uh, Twitter, Derry Speaks, at Lockdown Lions, Matt Derry Facebook fan page. If you're a Facebook person, we post the podcast every day. And hello to everybody watching on the Lockdown Lions YouTube channel, free. And you can subscribe and watch each and every day. I need to work on my posture a little bit. There's sometimes I feel like I'm down here. Um, my man Gunner, shout out to Gunner Russell, the king over at Edge Fitness. Uh, takes great care of my wife and I uh, when it comes to our fitness. My fitness used to be fitness pizza in my mouth. Now I'm actually into fitness. So I got to work on my posture. But uh, welcome to the show. Thanks for being with us today. Uh, I was excited when I saw this story, and I did some research, texted some of my people uh, on the inside, as I like to say, and it sounds like it's not going to happen. But HBO did approach, first reported by the Detroit News, the Lions about a second season of Hard Knocks. Now, if you recall last year, the Lions uh, were on Hard Knocks. It was a rousing success. They even used my voice on there on the first episode, which was kind of cool. And uh, those six episodes were fantastic. They're really good. Gave you a deep dive into the Lions. Dan Campbell looked good on there. And all the players were fun. And the Jamal Williams speech. And, you know, the, 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 the little stories, the Craig Reynolds story and the Obina easy story. All of those things were interesting. And all the Lions did was improve. Now, I'm not saying it had anything to do with hard knocks. But what the Hard Knock show and the cameras and the HBO crew and all of that did do was it did help bind the team together. It did not cause a distraction at all. And the club went from three wins to nine wins and nearly made the playoffs last year. It was a, a good thing that it happened. Now, it takes a lot to transform your practice facility basically into a TV studio. You're micing up players, coaches. You've got boom mics. You've got cameras everywhere and it's a lot and it can wear on you uh, i was told today again detroit news reported it first that hard knocks reached back out to do it again now hbo's got to pick between four teams and the teams have to agree to do it the eligible teams for hard knocks for this season are chicago washington new orleans and the jets um Quite honestly, those four sound boring. But regardless, those are the options. 
None of those teams have stepped forward to take the mantle yet, and we are just a month and a half away from, from the Hard Knocks crew from HBO having to set up shop somewhere and start recording content. Last year, the Lions stepped up to the pump led by And actually, that's Rod Wood, for those of you listening and not watching. Uh, I held up the Rod Wood sign. Um, Rod Wood was all for it. And look, we all know why the Lions did it last year. The Lions wanted the draft. They did the NFL a solid. They said, hey, we'll do hard knocks. You give us the draft. And it was a nice little barter move. Shout out to Rod and the whole crew. Um, what does Mike Blenny sometimes call him on, on the ticket? Rob the bot? I think that's kind of funny. We all know the power of 2 2 2. Um, so, but the Lions are not going to do it. I talked to a couple people today that said, hell no, it's not happening. So, even though the HBO crew and Hard Knocks wants the Lions again, it's not happening. The Lions are out. They've, been, they've done their due diligence. They bit the bullet last year. They're not interested in doing it again. But I would have loved it, I would have been all for it. I think that would have been fun again. There are enough new storylines. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson singing. You had new rookies this year. A anything else. Um, I think there are some other storylines that really Hard Knocks didn't even um, get into last year um, that I think that they could do this year. But it's not happening, which is too bad because I would have loved to have seen it. I think the Lions did a great job with it. I think they were entertaining. I think they were fun. And... Uh, it's an organization that is on the rise, you know, and, and doing good things. And I would have been glued to it. Unfortunately, uh, it is not happening. The Lions are not NOT going to do it again this year. So that's too bad. Uh, if I had to pick between who I'd want to see, Bears, Commanders, Saints, or Jets, well, the Saints have Jameis Winston as their backup quarterback, so he's always interesting. Uh, e to W. Bears, boring. Maybe the Saints now with Derek Carr? I don't know. None of those. Robert Sala with the, oh, Jets, Robert Sala, Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, sign me up. That's one I would watch. Um, so, but there you have it. Not happening this year for our Detroit Lions, which is uh, too bad. All right, coming up next, Pete Prisco. I'm not going to say he screws the Lions, but I'm a little bit surprised. His top 100 NFL players list, only two Lions made it and one honorable mention. So somebody was left off. That is, when you look at the Lions, you know there's four guys around the league, at least four, that, should, that you could argue are top 100 players right now. Only two made it, one honorable mention, and one got completely jobbed. We'll tell you about that uh, coming up next. First, though, what about our friends at FanDuel, America's number one sports book? You got Major League Baseball now going on. You got the golf this weekend. Yes, it's the U.S. Open. Check out Gordo's picks on the SVP pod. The SV pod. Yes, Gordo. Uh, he likes Morikama, 35 to 1. Well, you could put some money down, whoever that is. Uh, at America's number one sports book, FanDuel. That's because right now, FanDuel is giving new customers a no sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's up to one grand back in bonus bets if your first bet doesn't win. Go to fanduel.com slash locked on. Sign up today to claim that no sweat first bet. You can wager on everything you want over unders, home runs hit, money line, the golf, first round leaders. Um, FRLs, whatever it is, all on an app that is safe, secure, and super easy to use. Don't miss your chance at a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. When you join FanDuel today, just go to FanDuel.com slash LockedOn to sign up. Make every moment more with FanDuel. By the way, uh, I'm not sure any of you... Uh, or I'm sure there's some of you out there. I don't know how sure, I, I'm not sure how many of you are diehard Ted Lasso fans, but man, I miss that show already. I miss it. I miss it a lot. It was so good. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a spinoff or not, if they go to the 
uh, some sort of a spinoff with the women, the girls team, or they, they do the guys team and uh, Roy Kent's coaching and be coach beard is there. Oh, there's a lot of storylines, but I just missed that show. My wife is like obsessed uh, with Ted Lasso. She's got, she's, she's upstairs right now with my steps on watching season one, episode two right now biscuits with the boss. So uh, what a great show. I know Brad Galley from Channel 7, if you guys follow him on Twitter and Instagram and stuff, he's just constantly posting about it, too. It is an awesome show. So I need a new... If anybody has any suggestions on shows, I know my YouTube commenters will not let me down. Please let me know. I got into The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel recently. I know I'm like five years late on it, um, but I've been binge watching that. Uh, that's not bad. It's pretty good. All right. Pete Prisco. Sweet Pete. Pete Prisco is an animal on Twitter. He is mean and nasty. I love him. I'm a fan. I love his writing at CBSSports.com. Longtime NFL writer. Uh, covered the Jaguars for a long time and now is a national guy. I'm a fan of Pete Prisco. But today I opened up his CBSSports.com NFL Top 100 Players list. And I was stunned. Not stunned to see Mahomes, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, one, two, three. That didn't surprise me at all. But I kept scrolling, and I kept scrolling some more, and I kept scrolling even more. And I'm looking for Detroit Lion players, and I'm thinking, it's got to be a Lion in the top 40. Where's Frank Ragnow or Panay Sewell or Amon Ross St. Brown or Aiden Hutchinson? Top 50? Top 60? I'm scrolling through, and I'm like, Hassan Reddick at 64. I'm like, Hassan Reddick? DeForest Buckner, who barely played last year for the Colts, 65. 66, Panay Sewell of the Lions. Finally, a Lion makes it at 66. Quote from Prisco, he has developed into a top-tier right tackle, a brute who can dominate in the run game. He's improving in pass protection as well. End quote. I'm not asking for anybody in the top 10. The Lions don't have any top 10 players. The Lions don't have any top 20 players. Probably don't have any top 30 players. But you can't tell me Frank Ragnow is not a top 40 player in this league. Or even Sewell top 50. What about Aiden Hutchinson? Chauncey Gardner-Johnson's really good. Really good player. So Sewell at 66. I'm like, all right. Brian Burns, 67. Terry McLaurin, 68. Scrolling some more. I'm like, all right. Where are the rest of the Lions? Keep looking again. I see Levante David at 71 off a bad year. Stefan Gilmore, who had a really good year for the Colts last year, but 75. Stefan Gilmore? <laughs> Where's Amon Ra? Then I see, and then this got uh, Turner and Nate and a few others on Twitter all, all uh, caught up and put off. Hall of Fields. Justin Fields of the Bears at 78. Justin Fields is higher on this list than Amon Ross St. Brown. That's a crime. Justin Fields was like 26th in passer rating last year. Top 80? Nope. Keep scrolling. Keep going. Money, um, uh, Honey Badger, 81. Derek Brown, 82. 83. Amon Ross St. Brown of the Lions. Quote, he showed in 2022 that he was among the league's best Move the chain receivers with 64.2% of his catches going for first downs. He caught 106 passes with six touchdowns. End quote. Amon Ra, 83. Sewell, 66. To me, way too low. I mean, DJ Reader of the Bengals came in at 84. I'm a DJ Reader fan, but Amon Ra St. Brown, only four spots ahead of Christian Kirk, who was 87. Chris Godwin, 90. So I keep looking for any more Lions on this list. Top 100. I see Darius Slay. <clears throat> Excuse me, 96. Shaq Leonard of the Colts, 98. Again, barely played last year. Matt Judon. I, I like him. Kevin Byard. And that's it. Two. Count them. Two. Detroit Lions made Pete Prisco's top 100. 
That's a crime. Where is Frank Ragno on this list? All right, so we get to honorable mention. And I'm like, all right, you know, I'm assuming Ragnow and uh, Aiden Hutchinson are on this list. Aiden Hutchinson had a really good year last year. Come on. Talk about 100 players. Look at an honorable mention. I'm searching. I'm searching some more. Aiden Hutchinson, first honorable mention. All right, cool. Dak Prescott, Daniil Hunter, Bobby Wagner, Mike Williams, A.J. Terrell. Going through the list. No, Frank Ragnow. Frank Ragnow did not. There were about 30 players in honorable mention. Frank Ragnow, not on the list. That's a crime. Like I said, I'm a big Pete Prisco fan, but you cannot tell me Frank Ragnow is not a top 130 player in the NFL. PFF graded him out as the number two center behind Creed Humphrey. And I get there's some other good centers in the league, Kelsey and others, but big, big omission. There's some names. Wait to hear some of the names that are that are mentioned, honorable mention, ahead of Frank Ragnow. I'm going to give you that list because um, I think it's ridiculous. Coming up next. First, though, this episode is brought to you by Marg's Sparkling Margaritas. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been telling you about this cool, refreshing drink that is new and is out there. Love a good cocktail after dinner, after a long day at work, something cold and refreshing. It's summertime. Find that replacement for high noons and white claws and everything else that's out there. It's Marg's, M-A-R-G-S. Refreshing, ready-to-drink, sparkling margaritas. They become my go-to cocktail. I got some upstairs. They're great. Crafted with real Blanco tequila, Marg's are clean, crisp, and genuinely taste so good. They've got five unique flavors, so there's something for everybody to enjoy. Uh, I love one of these after work. Love one of these after dinner or even at dinner. They'll be great for backyard barbecues this summer. And of course, tailgating this fall, whether it's Ann Arbor, East Lansing, or down at uh, Easter Market, downtown for Lions. Margs are the drink of the summer, no question. Perfect. Perfect for tailgate season. Go to sipmargs.com right now. That's S-I-P-M-A-R-G-S.com to find a retailer near you. Must be 21 and over to enjoy. Cheers and please drink responsibly. All right, again, stun Frank Ragnow not making. First of all, are there any other Detroit Lions that you think should be mentioned in the top 100 or even an honorable mention? So top 130. Ragnow is one. All right, Sewell, we said, made it at 66. Aminrod, 83. And Hutchinson was the first honorable mention. I think Chauncey Gardner-Johnson is a top 100 player. Great pickup for the Lions. Hybrid, corner, safety is going to be really good. Tied for the league lead in interceptions last year. And just as good a player as a Jordan Poyer, who made this list as an honorable mention with the Bills, Marshawn Lattimore, I, I love. Uh, Sneed from Kansas City made this list. That's another defensive back. Um, Denzel Ward's good. Good player, don't get me wrong. But I think C.J. Gardner-Johnson and, uh, and, and Aiden Hutchinson and Frank Ragnow had to have been on this honorable mention list. But I looked at some of the names of some of these players. Christian Watson from the Packers was on this honorable mention list. And not Frank Ragnow. Christian Watson, nice rookie year for the Packers last year, but he's not a top 130 player. Kyle Hamilton, good rookie season for the Ravens. He's not as good as Frank Ragnow. James Bradbury of the Eagles. Again, good football player. Was CJ, GJ's teammate last year. Not as good of a player. Travis Etienne is on this list. Come on, Pete. Tua? Come on, Pete. God bless Tua. Never healthy. Frank Ragnow grades out as one of the best interior linemen in the game. Aiden Hutchinson last year was runner-up to defensive rookie of the year to Sauce Gardner. 
Chauncey Gardner Johnson was a big time pickup who, again, a year ago helped Darius Slay and Bradbury and others anchor a very good secondary for Philadelphia that got the Eagles to the Super Bowl. Um, I don't think the Lions have a top 10 player. I don't think the Lions have a top 20 player, like I said. All right. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, oh, Jared Goff should be on that list. No. You know, I'm not going to tell you about some others either. I think they still are a little bit of ways away. But we know how good Sewell, Amon Ra, Hutch, Ragnow are. Again, Mahomes, Allen, Burrow, Nick Bosa, Miles Garrett, Travis Kelsey, Justin Jefferson, Micah Parsons, Aaron Donald, and Trent Williams of the Niners were top 10 players. Panay Sewell, 66, Amon Ross St. Brown, 83. Top wide receiver was Jamar Chase at 16 and Devontae Adams at 17. Stefan Diggs was 20. Stefan Diggs is really good, but Stefan Diggs is not 63 spots good ahead of Amon Ra. He's not. So a little disappointed in that list. All right, there's your Thursday Locked On Lions. Thanks for making us your first listen, checking us out wherever you get your podcast. We are off tomorrow, back again on Monday.